Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So we had a storm come through last night and it completely took down <laughs> this whole thing here. I I'm surprised there's not more damage done because it was, it was intense last night. Um, there, apparently there was hail around here. I don't think we got any. I was looking at my car, I don't see any dents. So I, I did hear hail, but maybe it was smaller. I know some people got like quarter sized hail, but it, it, it was a pretty intense storm and it completely demolished this thing. Uh, luckily, I think it's fixable. I mean, it's not like anything's broken. It just knocked it off. I mean, I've got a this part here that is completely on the other bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and look and see what any damage on the plants and bring you guys with me. This is supposed to be right there. <laughs> and that completely came off. That's supposed to be over there and somehow that one's still standing. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually remove this for now. I've got clips on it over here and we will remove it because I'm gonna come through. I'm gonna use this opportunity to come through in this bed and kind of trim out some of the dying leaves at the bottom, at the base of these. I'm really happy it didn't completely destroy any of these. At least it doesn't seem so. there I even knocked this off this is some sweet potatoes i'm growing i even have some sprouts on them already oh it broke that too well we'll leave it for now i'll try to see if i can fix that so i'm just going to look for leaves that look damaged like this we'll remove that Of course that, get that out of there. Oh, and it's good I'm able to kind of look in here. Right there, guys, you can see cabbage looper poop. So that means I have got cabbage loopers back in here. So I'm gonna have to spray. This has a couple things eaten, not that I can get in here. So that's the one negative about covering your plants. I mean, right now it's the summer. They would die, so you got to, but it's hard to really see stuff unless you get in. So I would say if you're covering, you want to try to remove that cover once a week, once every two weeks. Get in here and look, because I've got stuff eating Oh, a whole bunch of cabbage looper poop right in the center and it's eaten in there. Dang it. All right, yeah, I've got a spray in here. Uh, it was looking so good from the outside. Never saw it. Oh boy, we got aphids. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that this kind of got knocked off and I'm able to take care of this. Most everything else looks pretty good. Again, like I said, a couple of these had aphids. There's a couple aphids right there. I think the major problem though I'm gonna be facing here is the cabbage looper. So I've got a spray for cabbage loopers right now. First, let's remove all this vegetation. I'm gonna bring it over to the chickens. They'll eat it. They'll eat all the aphids and any cabbage loopers if they find them. They're gonna be having a feast today. And I, you know, I don't like giving them the moldy stuff like that and that. And then anything that looks diseased, moldy, you wanna kind of stick in your trash can, get rid of it, get it out of your yard. And look at what we have here, little, cabbage loopers or maybe inchworms something and I can do the BT spray for now and then uh, B, you know BT does not work for aphids at least this kind but I do have neem oil which kind of works for aphids so and I got a while till I'm gonna harvest so I'm not worried about spraying it and they say you got to wait a couple days after spraying the BT it's gonna be 
a month or more before I'm starting to harvest. I am getting some broccoli heads. So if I can let this continue growing, I will get broccoli. At least that one had it. That one has it too over there. This little small one doesn't yet. So let me get the BT. We'll spray this down. All right, so this BT is specially formulated or grown. It's, it's, it's a specific type that targets worms. So cabbage loopers or inchworms or any other kind of worm but it does not affect anything else. So it's safe. Will not kill that spider that's in there, which we want to keep because he's helping guard against bugs. So this also knocked over my drip irrigation system there. So it's a little difficult with one person, I'm gonna be honest. No, I've got more clips if I can't find all the ones that flew off. Huh, there they are, way over there. And, you know, this works really well, normally. I mean, I've had some really bad weather, heavy winds, but they were saying it gusts up to 60 miles an hour last night. So, probably should have taken this down, actually. This structure is great. I really like this kind of, you know, makeshift hoop house. It works wonderful in normal situations, but you guys have a major crazy storm that comes in. You got 60 mile an hour winds, hail. You're just, this isn't gonna last. Um, that's, that's the unfortunate part. So this isn't permanent. But I mean, honestly, even some permanent structures can get damaged. I mean, even the tarp up here is broken off. I've got shingles on the top of my chicken coop here that I've pulled up. Hopefully my roof is okay on my house. I'll have to look at that. I got this back together. We were able to fix any of the bug issues, hopefully. Hopefully they don't come back and that BT works. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Thanks for watching everyone. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.